here's a run through of the 30 ounce tumbler for engraving or engravers the first thing you want to do is turn off this space saving layer which is just there to keep the file sizes down so you go to the layer stack bottom right and either turn that off or you can drag it in the bin um, you'll see here there's this timeline if you don't see that you can find it in Windows timeline make sure that's ticked okay to to get your design on the tumbler the first thing you do is double click step one smart object which is this thing here so if you double click that opens this preview of the design now step two is to double click this smart object okay once you're there you can now go to file place embedded and drop in your design whatever design you do eventually drop on here it needs to be black on a transparent background I understand this is quite common with uh, laser engraving software so you should have that around a, a PNG with a transparent background sh should work and ensure the bits that you want to see in silver or etched away are in black um, if your design isn't in black you can always add a blending layer say for example these ellipses were in fact yellow if you were to select your design and go to blending options you can always put a co color overlay of black on them uh, just just be be aware of that and then shift things around sh either this is the full view of all area of the colored part of the tumbler so you can fill that or leave the margin at top and bottom depending on on your design but once you're happy close that and say yes here and then you close this one be sure to say yes here okay once you can get an idea of how things are looking with this little scrubber here let's get that out of the way and once you're happy if you are happy click this icon here and choose render video now I suggest keeping all these defaults but feel free to change them if you're on a Mac you might want to switch to QuickTime all you need really do is select the folder where you want to save your uh, animation and, and give it a file name and then click render and then depending on the speed of your machine it could take anywhere from, from seconds to minutes okay there are a few other things you can do with this um, mock-up you can change the background you can turn off the background add your own background uh, to do that you just double click that and then file place embedded there the tumbler itself you can change the reflections from this rather well, soft reflection if you double click this you can put on shiny shiny reflections so all you need to do is double click this orange layer switch from two or you could even blend if you wanted to by changing the opacity you've got full control then of how how shiny you want it to look uh, other things the color the color is this other of uh, orange one and it's got a color overlay here so all you need to do there is double click the color overlay it should be this one and change it from black to whatever color you want I think that's pretty much it there's a shadow is optional I can dial it up as well and down I've got a opacity set to 82 um yeah that's all there is